should go that way. Or that way. A little busy here. Hold up. Just hold that. Uh, all right, go ahead. Okay, all right. Now you are truly forsaken. Brad, this is uh, that Destiny expansion. This is a good game. Yeah. It's time for the fireworks party here. Ah! Did not stop the fireworks party by hitting you. Check, the, um, check this out. You'll see something cool. You want to see how Destiny has changed since you left? Sure. Check this out, okay? I'm holding up my ghost. I'm tapping the square button. I'm on my sparrow. Instant Wait, I sparrow can, I summons. I can't do that. I still have to hold it down. Oh, it's so good. I still have to hold it down. This is from the last DLC, even. Oh, uh, well. for, yeah, Forsaken is out. The the new forty dollar Destiny Two expansion. Yeah, well, it's uh, well, it's forty dollars for the standard. It feels like it's there's because there's, there's a season pass for. Yeah, they're pushing this a, too, right? a seventy dollar version that's going to have three more kind of smaller DLC drops over the next year. Yeah, that's my understanding. Uh, but I mean, you can basically look at Forsaken as the Taken King equivalent for Destiny Two. Right. The big year one substantive expansion that right, really does yeah. a lot to the game. So uh, this is the new uh, patrol zone, or one, I guess one of the new. Yeah, there's uh, actually two of them. Yeah, and... Uh, the, the Tangled Shore is basically just a bunch of asteroids lashed together. Yeah. Uh, I've been liking this area so far. You've yeah. played more of this than I have, yeah. so we're on kind of my save because uh, I've, I'm at a point where the game kind of opens up a little bit uh, for a little while here. Yeah. It's got what, maybe like, what, five or six traditional missions, but then between some of those it'll stretch you out and say like, hey, like... Basically, it's like, hey, there are these barons, and you need to kill them all, and each one of them is an adventure uh, here in this area. Yeah, if you pop up your map. We can... uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I almost like to think of it as a little Mega Man-like, because it's just like, here's a bunch of boss fights. Yeah, go, go do so it's em. like, here's the trickster, the they're, rifleman, like they're all just the hangman. Like, uh, basically, you'd have to do all these uh, encounters before you can move the story on. Yeah, so why don't we, uh, why don't we do this, uh, this one that's close to us, yeah. mainly because uh, you probably know how to get to it. It yes. seems to be underground, and I don't know how to get there. It is underground. Oh, do I need to summon my thing? I'm... No. Okay. It's uh, right here. Oh. That was way less difficult than I thought it might be. Hooray! Yeah, I think it's just okay. in this garage somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Uh, I have been down here now that I now that I look at it. It's a really good looking expansion. Yeah. Like, and you haven't even seen some of the coolest like set piece boss type stuff. The initial we'll mission, uh, you know, kind of is a is a prison break of these barons escaping, and there's kind of a new faction of of modified fallen. Yeah. Uh, called the Scorn. And also, they killed Cage Six. Yeah. Take the Rider's Pike for a spin. We won't have to find her. She'll uh, find which us. they have made quite a big deal out of. They have. I uh, I don't know that I... Um... It's biometrically calibrated. Oh, this is fun. I've, I've cared diagnosis. enough about the characters. Oh, we'll get a... Check, check this out. This is a good example. I for, totally forgot about this. This is a good example of all the weird mechanical stuff they do in this DLC. Yeah. Like, if people can't tell, you're holding down the boost button, but the thing is, like, kind of jerking around and fits and starts. Yeah. And you're literally just like filling a meter as this thing <laughs> drives poorly. Almost there. there. All right. And then it gets we've, done, we've and now, done you can, now you can drive. Uh, and like you have to do the same thing for the weapons. These weapons don't shoot for shit. And the weapons like shoot all over the place. Like they just do some fun, goofy stuff with like very basic mechanics in this DLC. It seems like that in some ways it, it feels like, hey, let's make the most of, like, wh what can we do with the yes. systems we've yes. built uh, that would be fun and kind of maybe a little. Hacky around the edges a little bit, or but, but but yeah, like there's just kind of a there's a level of creativity and like inventiveness to the mission design in this thing that yes. I have not seen in Destiny in a long time, if ever maybe. Petra's files say Kate caught the rider the first time by beating her in a race. There's prison of elders security footage of her swearing revenge on him, and well, you know the rest. I don't hate Kate Six. I, think I, I don't. I guess like I I think that that like that kind of like. Fuckish rogue, whatever characters like super played. But. Yeah, I mean, I, I do think a little Cade goes a long way. Uh, yeah, um, and so opening this with that dude being dead, I'm like, all right, cool, <laughs> whatever, good, fuck that guy. Um, I, I, I mean, I have a bad feeling that by the end of this, he'll not be dead anymore. But, uh, but hey, I, yeah, don't, don't play the rest of the expansion. Yeah, all right, whatever. Because uh, I just, I, yeah, I feel like the the named characters when they started trying to put more story into those characters, I, I don't know that it benefited the game. Mm. Oh, I guess, well, yeah, I guess we need to keep going. Huh? It needed gonna... something. You're right. Uh, you're like, right. Original, original Destiny needed more of something in the story department. Like, whether they did the right thing or not is open to debate. Yeah. 
Right now, it's here. all over my scanner. The Rider's gang is nearby. <coughs> oh, that's it. Okay. Yeah. They're talking to the Rider on a secure frequency. We can triangulate her location with a little more. Are we data. hearing both audio from both games? I think there's like an echo off the. Yeah, I think we. We are in the headphones, I'm not yeah, sure if it's okay. coming through or not. Uh, but yeah, this has been fun so far. I, I, I think most of the changes they've made, like there's some structural changes in menus and such where they, you know, kind of organized lore a little better and an in-game achievement system and, and stuff like that that I think is, like, much needed. Yes. It's the sort of, but it, again, it's like I, I felt the same way about some of the previous Destiny expansions. Like you look at it and go, like, man, this should have been here from it's, the start. It's kind of like, uh, and and then this thing is not that long, so you're like, man. Yeah, I, I, I think this this DLC is fantastic, but yeah, it's following the exact same trajectory of the first game, where the base game kind of screwed some stuff up. Yeah, and now they are fixing it, which is good now. But you know, for the but last it would have been nice to have for yes. like the the meteor content yeah, yeah. that they had, you know, over the last year or two. Uh, yeah, we can get into some of those mechanical changes here in a little bit. But um, this is just a busted up tank over here. Also, it's worth noting a lot of the stuff we're talking about on the mechanical side is also being added to the base game. Uh, like, right. Yeah. Like so this kind of big 2.0 update. Is so do I need to, to get off this thing and get up here to uh, to do this? I think so. Yes. Yeah. Uh, like the weapon changes, uh, I think have been okay. The, yeah. the the system changes, like now that there are weapons in the game that make that make sense. Uh, I really like the new super I've got, and yeah. uh, the new the new Titan, uh, the new, I guess Arc Titan, uh, this code of the missile thing. I'm having a great time. With. I haven't seen that stuff yet. I mean, so every every class is three subclasses, each got a new tree basically. So yeah. there's a ton of new abilities in this, and. Uh, I've only seen the new Warlock stuff, but they, they are dramatically different. Like, they really change up the... Yeah, the like, this is stuff. basically like a fucking bison psycho crusher that I just okay. do out of the air. Okay. And aim it at stuff and kill it. Huh. And and it's super fun. Yeah. I got my super. Uh, where are you? Right here. Okay. Okay. This is just a giant fucking death beam. All right. That you can aim around. All right. Next time we get a cluster of enemies, I'll, I'll bomb into them. Um, also, my melee is no longer a melee. It's basically a Hadouken. Okay. It's a fireball. Like, I literally fling my hands out and throw a fireball. Uh, All right, I guess we got to get on one of these things and give chase, huh? Hang on, let me, let me melee a dude. Actually, yeah, I'll just super these this group of guys that. here. Wow, yeah, okay. Uh, and also that comes with a an enhanced, like, jumping melee that is kind of the same thing uh, that then generates super, uh, which is, is fun. Uh, it's fun. Like, I don't know how much we want to belabor kind of just dust and, bolt, dust and bolts me mechanical stuff in this, but, like, weapons and armor have random perks on them again. Uh, there's the masterwork stuff that adds extra perks, like these new subclasses add a bunch of stuff. Like, there are just so many more options for how to play this. Uh, and finding, like, the kind of mix that I have enjoyed has been really satisfying. Are we getting pikes or are we using our sparrows? Uh, we need pikes. Okay. Is this a pike dispenser here, or what am I... Uh, maybe... Where am I to get said pike? There's a pike up here. There's the one you left. Oh, right. Okay. There's just no icon on my map, so I thought you were... Oh, yeah. There it is. All right. Fuck that guy. New enemies have seemed okay. Yeah, they're fairly different. It's like enemy with a swinging lantern, yes. and the lantern is the crit that spot. Is, that is the most meaningful thing you can do for new enemies in this game. Is, is make to, it not the head. Yes, find, yeah, find yeah. a weak point that's not a head. Also, it took me a little while to figure that out, because I'm so used to just shooting everything in the head in this game. Yeah. Um, ironically, like, the one enemy that does not have a head weak point in this, the Vex, mm -hmm. are, are, like, not really in this expansion at all. Yeah. Uh, weirdly. It's kind of the one faction that really doesn't show up at all in this thing. Well, they were, I mean, the last uh, the last DLC add-on was all yeah. Vex, they so. Vex kind of had their due over the last two games. Oh wow! Yeah, you put some damage on this boss. So this is the boss. Like every one of these six was uh, like eight in total. There's eight barons. Basically, the barons are. Should we actually should we actually say what's going on in the story? 
Uh, so whatever, Cade Six dies. You want revenge? Uh, well, there's a prison break at yes. the beginning of the game. Uh, these, these, this whole new faction gets out. Yeah, um, they've all been locked up. Yeah, and and so um, you have kind of a new, or I guess it's not a new character, but a new bad guy uh, at the head of it. Well, uh, so he's been around. I don't right, know if you that's remember. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, the thing I would actually, the thing that helped me more than anything when I got into this DLC is to go back and watch the intro of the Taken King. Oh, right. Because yeah. everything that happens in this DLC is a direct extension of what happens in The Taken King. Or specifically in the intro. If you remember, the Dreadnought shows up. Yeah. The, the Oryx ship. Right, right, right. Uh, he shows up, and the Awoken, the space elves, you know, mm -hmm. the purple reef people? Yes. There's like a massive space battle. He kind of sets off a smart bomb in his capital ship that basically eradicates the Awoken kind of whole civilization. Yeah. So like the queen is the queen is dead or missing or whatever like the whole they're they're all scattered to the winds basically. Uh, and this, so this is kind of making good or following up on some of that stuff. This guy is the he's the prince. He was in the first game if you remember. He was the sneering. When you go see the queen to get into the black garden in the first game. Yeah, about, uh, I'm dead for thirty seconds. Oh, so yeah, you, you should, should probably, go kill that thing or revive me or something. Get you. Yeah. Not babble about the story here. Uh, all right, I'm up, up in ten. But yeah, so he, like, he's been missing since that massive space battle at the beginning of Taken King, and he basically shows back up in this. Uh, and kind of engineers the prison break in the Prison of Elders. What if I just get off my pike and use this fucking grenade launcher? Alright, that's not actually gonna work. Oh man, my pike is super messed up. Oh, that is gonna work. Uh... Gonna heal. Oh. oh, there's a pike. Okay. You know, like fighting a boss on a pike, like fairly obvious idea, but I thought it was kind of clever. Or yeah, you know, yeah. something different. Uh, and then finishing that pops pops like a Riders triumph on my end. Uh, I don't know what we got, but whatever. I get a couple items. And you're with me again. And uh, we move on. They've changed uh, a lot of the stuff about how you infuse, uh, which which seems smart in a way of like, okay, so in the previous expansions, I, I would just wear the same shit the whole time, and anything new I found, I would just infuse into the stuff I already liked, uh, which is kind of a problem in a way. So yeah, it's what boring. they've done is raised the um, cost for infusing yeah. in such a way that makes it kind of a hassle, so, which is a positive and a negative. On one hand, it's like, oh, that's a fucking hassle. On the other hand, it's like, oh, it, I, I see that like now I've got more reason to put on new shit. Yeah, they're trying to encourage you and, to switch up And not gear. just use the same gear for a year and a half straight. Also, uh, uh, so the trade-off they made is it takes more materials to infuse now, but what they the requirement they relaxed is that you don't have to infuse with the same type of item anymore. Oh, right, right, right. So anything yes. in that slot now can, can infuse into anything else. Yeah. So like, you're no longer relying on random drops to get infusions now. You just need materials. Yeah. So that, I, I think overall that's a net positive, even though, like you said, it, it makes it a little more onerous from a Matt's standpoint. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, you know, it, it's, it's gameplay variety. It's one of those things that if the game had been like that all along, you never would have noticed. Yeah. But but because it's a change from what you were doing before, it's like, oh man, I have 400 shards. I'm just going to infuse forever. Um, and now you're like, oh, I, I need more than that. Uh, I think the masterwork stuff. I don't know if do you have any masterworks. I don't. No, I don't. I, don't, like I think I maybe collect. I got one at some point, and then just it was not that good. Maybe I have it so, in here somewhere. Uh, so weapons are dropping with random perks, and the masterwork stuff also gives random perks. So right. you can get combinations of perks on items that are fucking fantastic now. Like. The scout rifle I've got is super stable. Yeah. It's got triple tap, so I get a free extra ammo back in the clip when I land precision hits. Okay. It also has a masterwork perk to generate orbs of light every time I kill two enemies fairly oh, wow. close together. That's geez. So I'm constantly getting free ammo, constantly recharging my super. That's pretty good. It's awesome. Uh, uh, it's really fun. Yeah. Um, I'll take a look over here at the, uh, the new subclass stuff. Uh, so yeah, it just opens up a, a middle tree here, and I haven't quite filled it out yet. Uh, but yeah, this is the kind of M. Bison style, or I guess lunge, it's more of a punch than a spinning Psycho Crusher, but, uh, and then eventually you level it up and get a pretty, that ground pound melee, and then now I get super for hitting people with that melee, and then the last one is when I slide over ammo, it'll refill the gun. Yeah. Which sounds 
That sounds uh, up my alley. Oh wow, jeez, that's pretty good. Go into one of your other subclasses. Okay. Uh, they give you they give you kind of a mission to go get these new subclasses, which is decent, I guess. Yeah, but, you, need, but, you need a this item to to kick off one of the new. Yeah. You know, uh, which I have not gotten any of these. I, other have, ones, I haven't but, either, and I finished the story and got into the end game yeah. area, so I find it interesting. Yeah, they say like, hey, choose wisely because these seeds of light are super rare. So I, I'm actually curious how you're going to get the other two. There's a triumph for getting all of them. Yeah. So you know, it's obviously clearly. A way. Uh, done it, but yeah, so they've redone this stuff, the Triumph, it's kind of this in-game system, uh, you know, sort of achievement system. Um, I don't know that, I mean, you unlock points, but I don't know that those do anything other than there's a trophy for getting 5,000 right. points. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. It, it, you know, it's kind of just oh. an in-game achievement system. Oh, you uh, know what, there's you get titles. The seals. Yeah, you get, uh, yeah. yeah, if you, if you, if you kind of complete a bunch of these, eventually you get the seals. And it looks like there are titles associated yeah. with that. I, I, uh, it'd be nice if there were titles just associated with like the raw. Port, yeah, port collections is is new. This is like everything you've kind of ever picked up. Yeah. It's above a certain tier, like you know, the, or actually some of the, a lot of the trash armors on here too. Um, oh no, yeah, it's everything. Yeah, and and so and greens and blues are in here. You know, you could always kind of pull new exotics, but now they've kind of put that right in to your menu at any time. And in some, this is might actually be cheaper than infusing. Uh, yeah, these these come out a little bit below your actual level, so you're taking a tiny penalty. Right. But it is like a probably faster way to get. Yeah, so it's like if I wanted to switch back to Syntheseps, which is like a the melee range on this is how I've played all of Destiny 2, so not having it makes the game feel broken. Yeah. Um, I could just pull that out at 428. But, but I, that's still going to be, you know, like I've got 446 on my current arms, so even still that's still going to be a drop. Um, so I might just wait till the end and infuse once. I, I'm not really sure what to do on that stuff. This, the weapon uh, stuff, uh, you know, they, they've they've made it so the uh, slot types are not necessarily ammo types. Also, so I'm I'm rocking two weapons that both use primary ammo instead of primary, secondary, and heavy. Uh, I don't know. We necessarily need to get into the nitty gritty on that stuff. It, it's a it's a weird system. It's a weird system. Uh, it, feels, it seems it, fine. It feels a little messy, but like I think I'm okay with it. It, it, it does make it so whenever a weapon drops and, and I look at it in like just when it pops up here, I don't know what slot it's going to go into, yes. and that's a little strange. I mean, I've, I've run into situations where both of my best weapons were sniper rifles. Yeah, and like that is a little awkward. Right. But, uh, yeah. Why don't we do gambit? Uh, this is the new multiplayer mode. Okay, dude. Yeah, I guess that's fine. I, I do want to say those these boss fights that you have yeah. are super impressive. Like there's some really amazing scenery. Yeah, like some, you, you look at them as like, oh, these are just adventures, like and the great, game has done adventures before. Like great but, uses of mechanics, like the, some good story stuff. Like the the whole story of this thing is pretty well put together. Uh, also, I really have to Jan, if you want to flip back over to me real fast, you can buy shaders now. Uh, or, how, much, or, how much do they? Like, this is a raid shader, and it's just two legendary shards. Like, that's not that bad. Okay, it's, yeah, that's, that's in the grand scheme like of things, these, that's these not are, that bad. These are Trials of the Nine shaders that I got by going perfect in Trials of the Nine. Like, these used to be fucking yeah. hard You can to only rebuy things you've seen yes, you, another way. Like, it's thing, not like things that haven't dropped yet, I can't buy. But the point is, I don't have to, like... Grind Trials I can't, of the Nine. I actually can't play. They took Trials well, out for the time being. Yeah. But, uh, like, you don't have to go, go grind the raid to get more raid shaders, you know? So that's how, that's how I ended up with this crazy looking royal gun on like uh, uh come on on a random ass scout rifle i now oh, have a you, cool looking you put the rage okay yeah because i can just buy more whenever i want it like yeah. it's so much it's a lot of stuff that you look at it and man and, and think like man they shouldn't have saved this for the end right. or the or the one year in on destiny 2 like because... it just goes to show that if you take something away from people and then slowly trickle it back into their possession they the will, madden philosophy they will, they will feel grateful to you uh because uh, shaders used to just be free across the board but uh, it's better. It is definitely better now in just about every way on the item side. So a lot of money sinks and stuff like that. They've added a lot of bounties across the game. So yeah. each, each uh, you know, you'd have like that one person, like a faction vendor per location. Yeah, I've got Gambit. Uh, I think I've got uh, Gambit bounties okay, yeah. in my inventory uh, and, and right so, now. yeah, there's a ton of, if you look over at Brad's stuff real quick here. Uh, uh, oh, I finished all the Gambit bounties. Okay, yeah, but it's got uh, these wanted targets, which is new. That's kind of cool. And then yeah. the bounties are just kind of like bounties were before these bounties uh, came out of gear that I sharded, uh, like, right? Yeah, like, and and like, so uh, there's there's also I think I have I don't know what it is. I think it's an item I have equipped. I forget what it is, but there's a certain thing that is like chance to pop a new bounty when you complete a bounty. Weird. Yeah. Huh. Uh, which is weird. Yeah. There's this progression everywhere. Like I've got practically every NPC in the game right now is offering me powerful gear. Right. If I go and do their stuff. Uh, which that's you know weekly reset type uh, stuff that they've they've had before for yeah. sure. Um, 
So, there, yeah, there's just tons of stuff to I do. I did most of this stuff already because I figured I'm not going to get through the story in one week anyway. So by yeah. the time I'm ready for, like, to grind powerful gear, then whatever. Gambit is a... Oh, this guy. <laughs> I like this guy. He's all right. It's like all they right, put... Man. They put Ready to see what you're fucking today? fake solid snake, ah, like Snake Plissken style, sure. uh, not actually snake, MGS2 dude in here or something. Uh, so this is a 4v4 mode, but it is primarily co-op um, against AI with limited, uh, like one person will sometimes go over to the other team's side and interact with their shit it's to fuck of, them up. It's kind of Destiny's take on a MOBA. I guess so, yeah. There's creeps in a sense. Like you're, yeah, you're basically, the flow is basically you're killing creeps to get, pick up an item they drop, you cash those in to fill up a meter. When you fill your meter, a giant enemy spawns and whoever kills their, which, whichever team kills that enemy first wins the match. Right, uh, and so we're picking up these These things are moats uh, that we're collecting and you basically need like 75 moats to, to spawn the primeval yeah. and then killing the primeval wins. Uh, at set intervals uh, on that meter, so when I think when we get 25 and when we get 50 uh, moats banked, it, that will open up the portal uh, to the other side. So basically the other team is not accessible to us right now. Uh, and they're they're on a mirror of this map doing the exact same thing. And we can basically go over there. When that portal opens, one player can go over there and fuck with them. Uh, also, you can you see I, I have a deposit for small blocker over there. Uh, that's a blocker. This taken right here. It's blocking our ability to cash in moats at the bank here. So that means the other team cashed so, theirs. Yeah, over. that they cashed in to earn a blocker. So I just sent them a blocker, which means they can't bank the until they kill all proud. the blockers. Right. Oh God. Totally and when you die, you lose all your moats. Yeah, uh, that's, that is the you. harshest thing about this mode. Uh, yeah, they don't pop out of you and and make and become collectible. I'll get, I'll get you. Oh, no, someone else. Oh, I just said you're Um. The number one problem I had with this mode at first, and maybe it's my fault, not the mode's fault, is that I was just insisting on holding on to my max number of moats at all times. Oh, no, yeah. Because there are tiers of blockers. Right. There's small, medium, and large, and if you cash in 15, you get a large blocker. So I kept wanting to do that, but Hostile invaders kept coming over and fucking using golden gun on me or whatever. Yeah. And you just lose all the progress you just made for 10 minutes. Uh, yeah, I basically am cashing in as many small blockers yes. as I can. Yes, that's what I've started doing, and I've found it to be a lot more effective. It's just the more conservative, like, safer way to play. Portal is primed. Uh, Not oh, we're doing well. I'm going to try and go over there. All right. And it's just one invader at a time, right? Yep. Uh, yeah, so I'm over here for 30 seconds. So I have 30 seconds to Take fuck their shit guys. up if I can. Uh, there they are over there. Let's just try and launch a... Uh, that's a bad shot. Uh, I just gotta get. Oh yeah, here's one. Ah shit. That's one. Got one. All right. So there, he had five moats. So fuck that dude. But if, this, they, if ah, I died. In this uh, in this early invasion phase, are you causing them any penalties besides taking their moats? You're taking their moats. That's uh, it. That's Cause, it. Yeah. Because later on, once their prime evil, their big monster is out. If you kill every enemy you kill while they're fighting their prime evil, actually heals the prime evil. Right. Yeah. So you can you can reverse their progress even if they're ahead of you, like really significantly. Um, we had I had a one match that was just an amazing comeback yesterday. Like. Their prime evil was like half down before ours was even out. Yeah. But we had uh, one good player who went and invaded and killed like three of them, and it filled their prime evil's health all the way back up. Yeah, that's cool. And then and then we actually killed ours first and won. Like it was really fun. Uh, if you're careful and you play this mode well, it's like it's easily my favorite multiplayer mode in this game. Yeah, I, I never really liked the Crucible very much at all. Um, oh shit! Shit! Ah! Fuck! Uh, but if you're reckless and you get effed up by, a, by an invader at the wrong time, it can it can be incredibly frustrating. Yeah. Um, so it looks like we're ahead if everyone banked. Uh, yeah, there's, there was a guy on our team that has 10. Oh, yeah, he's shooting the, he's shooting the blockers, so maybe he's looking to bank. There he goes. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to get to 10, and then I'm going to go pause it. All right, so one of our one of our players just went over Holy to the other side. Shit, I just got destroyed by a Shrieker. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I have. Uh, so it's a it's a random enemy type every time you play. Yeah. Um, and I don't know if I played with the, uh, with these guys. The cursed thralls are a fucking asshole. Yeah. Invaders defeated. Bringing them back. Oh, 
Incoming hostiles at the canal. Yeah, okay, you got those. All right. Block her up. Drop the taken phalanx to the other side. Nice. This guy's cheesy in, I guess, a pretty good way. Yeah, he's. Yes. They know what they're doing with him. Almost. Bank and get that prime evil out there. Also, they, they do a pretty good job of building him up with some mystique because some of the more. Some of the more mysterious characters in this game act like they've known him for a very long time. Right. They're like, oh, the drifter's in town again. Uh, invader in here. I, I wish, maybe, I, maybe that's, I'm sure it's intentional, but I kind of wish there was an easier way to spot the invader. Uh, yeah, he's up there. Uh, well, I don't know if that helps you. I've definitely gotten taken by surprise more than once. Okay, he's out. Okay. Everyone just banks will be good. Uh, do we have enough? Yeah. Okay, I should probably stop fighting these guys then. Yeah, we just need three. Almost. Bank and get oh, I've got that enough. Prime evil yeah, just, that. Okay. just go bank. Although I guess if you banked a big uh, chunk for your last time, you would drop a big... Oh, yeah, that's true. Drop a blocker on them and buy yourself a little more time. Can you keep banking after the Prime Evil's out? I guess not. Uh, I don't think any... No, I don't, I don't know. Oh, I lost my moats. Yeah. I lost my moats okay. when the Prime yeah. Evil came out. Okay, let's try it. No, no, let's see. I'm still getting used to the range on, like, how much I need to sprint yeah. before it... Let's me uh, use my air, like my, my melee dive. Yeah, these, these new abilities, I mean, my subclass 2 has a lot of kind of new movement based stuff. Yeah. Like I was saying, uh, like the biggest downside of this fireball melee I have is it's possible to whiff it. Like with a melee attack, if you miss, you still have. Oh, invaders. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I healed them up. Shit. Got They've got theirs out. So basically, we're tied. Uh, yeah. Out. Ah, well, whatever. We hadn't done any damage to it, so. So now it seems like in this final phase, like the portal just opens up at set intervals. I don't know what causes it to to pop. It just does. You know what these envoys are for, or like, does that change anything if you kill them? Ah, uh, they're just a hassle. Okay. I think they're just there to stir That's up not, shit. But nothing drops moats. It doesn't. I don't it, think anything. Oh shit! I didn't read. I was, I was wondering if they like buff the prime evil or something, and if you take them down, it makes it easier or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of strategic considerations here because like I could drop my super on this guy, but then if an invader shows up, he's just gonna heal our guy back up. But if you drop it, uh, then you'll, you're earning more super for the next time. Yeah, that's true. All right, invader in. Okay. Or I could super the invader. Uh, yeah, that would. If I can find him. Burn that oh, oh, he's shooting me. Ah, ah, ah. He's up on the Get ridge on the right. It. Okay. Ah, Fuck. They fucking got how did, it. Man, how did they... Okay. Last I looked at their meter, it was totally full. Oh, the other cool thing about my this death beam super is that you can turn it off early and save super energy. Oh, neat. Opposing team. Yeah, that's pretty Keep cool. those moats coming. Your team could do better. All right, hold on to something. Time to step it up, sister. Hostiles called their heavy hitters. Hostiles incoming at the slums. All right. Ah. Yeah, I just I'm I'm whiffing melee constantly oh because I'm used to it lunging out to happen at all. I might have to just burn all those mats and a lot of that exotic because I'm playing markedly worse without it. I've I've appreciated that I've been having to use new gear. Yeah, it's just made, uh, it, it's made it feel more like a new game. Yeah, yeah, uh, th that is nice. Because I because I played through most of Destiny and the expansions or Destiny Two rather. 
infusing the same gear that I'd had for most of the game. Right, yeah. Like, you pick the thing that looks cool and has the perks you want, and then you just never stop using it. Small blocker out back. Man, I hate Shriekers. Yeah, they're terrible. Bunch of fucking moats out here. Incoming hostile. Oh, they. Ah, the fuck. No. The moats disappear really fast. Yes, they also. do. Uh, yeah. This is super frustrating sometimes. Shit. Fuck. Oh, man, come on. Is that gonna be ground? That's not gonna be ground. Fuck. That is. a bummer. <laughs> They have a ton of blockers over here. You're being invaded. Oh, good. Find them before they find you. I got a full auto sidearm. Yeah, me too. Pretty good. Uh, invaders headed towards you. Oh, shit, okay. Uh, let's get out of here. Oh, no, fuck you, fuck you. God damn it. I had 10 moats. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Invaders like, that is the... <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. That is absolutely the low point of a Gambit match when stuff like that happens. Portals up. <sighs> I don't have any heavy ammo. I'm not going to use the portal. Uh, I've someone got my super. Should. I could go. Yeah. All right, I mean, go. No, okay, someone else went. Oh, side. shit. That's yeah, he, he got in right before I did. All right, banks back up. I'm just going to... Or these two in here. Todd. Uh, yeah, yeah I've had some good runs on the other side where I just go over there and pull out my heavy and just, like, kill all four of them and stuff. Uh, I don't know if, like, are you just more powerful when you go over there? Uh, so, yeah, you do have extra health, or you have an overshield. Okay, oh, that's what like I the, the green. That makes sense. The green shield bar? Yeah. Yeah, you do You have extra uh, survivability. There is an invader. I thought it said an invader. I don't see the timer. Ah, shit. Shrieker down. Okay. Now oh boy. First thrall is my favorite. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck. Invaders in the bank. Yeah, it's just, it's really hectic, chaotic mode. With a lot of hard swings. Yeah, I momentum. thought he was over by you. I thought I was going to be safe. I was going to try to clear out the bank and... Invaders off the field. My stuff off. Ugh. <laughs> I think I just fucking dive bombed into their shield. Hopefully that did some damage on the way, I guess. Fuck. Grab your gun. All right, I'm gonna try to super. All right. There's no auto aim on the super, so that this can be a problem. Revel in this. Now uh, they just banked. That's one. Ah, fuck. Now we got one of them. Ten seconds. Oh, this is a problem. Come back with a bigger gun. Oh, I could have gone better. Grab your gun. Hostiles at the pit. All right. We're almost there. You just dropped a taken on the other side. Hope you're proud. I am. Yep. 
close. Bang! Summon that prime evil. Halfway down, six more. Yeah. 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 To the other side. God, the portal's up. I'm gonna go over. Uh, <laughs> the last second here. Too fast. Uh, uh, nope. Nope. God, we just got flat. Yep. That happens sometimes. Uh, Hit it with everything you've got. Uh, this mode and regular Crucible have been really good for getting gear. I found, oh, really? Uh, I've gotten some amazing drops off of these multiplayer right, modes. Uh, better version of the gun I already have equipped. I don't know how this happened. It almost feels like it should be a bug. But I got a 503 power uh, submachine gun when I was like level 37. Huh. And I was at like 380 power. Weird. I was too low level to equip it for a while, but once I was, it was like 100 power over everything else I had. Mm. I'm not sure what was going on there, but... Alright, I guess I'm Guardian 3 now. If you need gear, play some multiplayer. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've, I've definitely had some, some decent drops out of that so far. At least while I'm still in the leveling process. Oh wow, I got a 504 rocket launcher off of that. Oh, nice. Alright, well, shit. Uh, what's left? So, uh, you play through... Chan, you want to switch over to me here? Uh, you play through most of, well, pretty much the entire campaign on the Tangled Shore, which is kind of the main new zone. Yeah. Um, but then after you finish the story, you get a quest to unlock the other zone, which is the Dreaming City. Yeah. Which I finally did this morning because you have to do an attunement quest for it. <laughs> All right. Like it's World of Warcraft 2004. Uh, that requires a fair amount of grinding, but I got that done. Uh, you want to go check out the yeah, sure. city? Yeah, sure. Yeah. It's hard. Oh, no. All right. I'm, I'm going to drop out then. All right. You'll have to bomb out of here. Okay. Let's go check it out. Uh, so the, the soft cap for power level seems to be 500-ish. Mm -hmm. Um... And the very first enemies you see in this place are like 530. Oh, wow. So, okay. So it's weird because I unlocked access to it, but it seems like it seems like they don't intend for you to get here very quickly because they basically want you to go do the powerful gear quests uh, and get your power up before you spend a lot of time here. And you haven't done those yet. You hit 502 yeah, without, I was, without I was, doing most of them? I was or? saving them all because, you know, that's, that's yeah. kind of the, that's the flow, right? You That's the, that's the I want to play this as quickly as possible flow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, or, well, I mean, otherwise I would be twiddling my thumbs all weekend until the reset on Tuesday because I would have no way to level past where I'm at. Right. Uh, but I, I think this is... I think this is the best Destiny has been since Taken King. I'm going to say. I've definitely had the most fun with it. Yeah, it's been... Mechanically... It's been the That new super stuff, the, the Code of the Missile stuff, I, I'm really enjoying. Like, it's, it's, a ni it's nice because it is like, hey, here is... Your character, it's even its even the same subclass I have been using, so I'm familiar with it, but then it's here's a new thing to do within that subclass. Yeah, it's the same for me. Uh, and, and that's been good. Uh, so I don't know if I have a prayer here, because uh, maybe these guys are not super high yeah. level. Uh, and also, the uh, have you seen a new public event in this zone yet? Because the, the public events in the other zone are new. Yeah, they are. Uh, this is the first public event I've done here. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I think this is just the this take, is just the blight yeah, taken blight one. Yeah, um, I will say this is looking to be a taken centric zone, so that might be why. Oh, sure. Uh, without yeah. getting into the story stuff too much. Yeah, boy. And then the raid hasn't rolled out yet, right? No, that's uh, I think maybe the tenth. I think it might be next week. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I, you know, I don't, I don't really subscribe to the Destiny ah. as a lifestyle. Yeah, see, five thirty. Yeah, uh, thing because I, I just, it, it's never really felt like the game has had quite enough content yeah. to justify it. Yeah. But I am having, I, I'm having a good time getting back into it and playing it and, yep. and seeing the stuff. This has been some of the most inventive story, like, like kind of mission. Or like, or like main line uh, yeah. that they've had in some time. Yeah, so. and I, I know, like I said, I don't think you've even seen the best of that, that stuff yet. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, that's exciting. Uh, let me bomb out of this public event and just go into the actual city. All right. Uh, I, what is that? I just got here this morning right before I came in, so I kind of have no idea. Can you shoot it? Okay. Uh, it might just be That's just a thing. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, oh, what's this place? Oh, this is another thing. Um, well, I can't talk to her, but let me see if I can find one. So, uh, there's one. From what I can see, it seems like the patrols in this zone are attached to actual NPCs. Oh, oh weird. Ah, uh, don't kill me. Where is it? There's one. Oh, God. <laughs> Man. Should not be here right now. Yeah, there's one. So, yeah, instead of a little hey. beacon. Huh. There's a lot of taken in this area. Oh, is she Start not actually going to be out? Of them. Okay, never mind. Shoot! It's just some stuff. It's just an NPC instead of a beacon. The, yeah. the reason I thought this was interesting is a lot of the missions in the campaign have what would normally be enemies fighting alongside you as right. allies. Right, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, weird, she just disappeared. Okay. So I was hoping that meant she was going to, like, roll around and do a patrol with me. Because they have a lot of that in here. Yeah. So there are... And they've, are, yeah, they've added bounties to even the old zones. So oh, now, yeah. now that you need some of the materials collected in those zones, the bounties will give you those. Yeah. Uh, so it's kind of reasons to go back to and do stuff in like the EDZ and some of these other spots. Yeah, and that's where you're going to get those materials you need for the new infusion. Yeah, and so. that's it's like it, that's cool, but also maybe a little. I I've kind of wish that the bounty stuff was just centralized, uh, and I didn't have to go to someone to do it uh, to uh, pick yes, them up. Yes, because uh, it, it is a little bit tedious having to fly back and forth just to pick up the bounties. Yeah. Uh, last thing I've noticed, I'll just. Try to get into the city here, although this... Yep, that's exactly what happened last time I tried to get in here. These guys just kill me in like one or two hits. Um, pull up the map here. Uh, so my guess is that this is basically their new uh, escalation protocol. Oh, okay. For Warmind, if you remember that. Yep. I never really played much of that. Yeah, but, I tried um, it a couple of times. I never got far enough into it to get any of the stuff you would get. So the, the power on that thing is 550, so I can't even go near it yeah. right now. But uh, from the looks of that that quest marker, it looks like that's going to be the new kind of public wave-based thing that'll probably get you a bunch of cool, unique stuff. I just want to get in the city. I just want to show what it looks like. It looks bad out here. Yeah, this is fucking terrible. No! Yeah, yeah, Jesus. Got to drive better. Ugh. Oh, well. Um, there's a lot of cool scenery in this place. I mean, there is in Tank of Shore, too, but it's, like, ugly cool. Whereas right. here, it's very, like, elegant cool. Like, this whole place, like, the all basically the whole storyline in this really just uh, reinforces the notion of the Awoken as the space elves of the Destiny universe. Oh, okay. Like, if you look at all this stuff, it's all very regal and ethereal. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, so... Cool looking stuff, like some fantastic environment art in this thing. A lot of great dramatic lighting and stuff. Uh, yeah, I haven't, like I said, I haven't spent time uh, exploring the second zone much yet, but uh, I think this is where the new raid is going to be set. Let's go over to the Blind Well and at least see if we can see what it is. You know what, that, uh, well, it just disappeared, but that pop up in the upper left looked exactly like the escalation program. Yeah, and, yeah, same with the yeah, tears and the waves and stuff. So I think that's exactly what light this is. deposited, time remaining. This doesn't seem like it's going well. Touch of the deep, am I just taking damage? Yeah. Yep. Okay then. Yep. So more to see, I guess. Yes, definitely a lot more to do. It seems like. Uh, and have you, you've hit the level cap, right? You've hit fifty. Yeah, I hit fifty. Um, okay. But again, like the the I'm at about 500 power, and the gear goes up to 600, so there's still quite a bit right. of gear left to level. Did that just end? Yeah, it was, a, yeah, it was yeah. almost timed out when you got there. Just, just ended. I doubt anybody is really properly geared for this yet. Well, get a thing. Let's see what's in here. Whole lot of nothing. Eh, okay, sure, fine, whatever. Hey, I think Destiny is back, kind of. Sure. I mean. The only thing that stops me from saying that wholeheartedly is, like you said, you know, the content will run out again at some point. Uh, yeah, uh, totally. Like, uh, there's, you know, there's this. This is the last zone. There's only one raid. Like, you know, you'll, it's like it's it's back for a couple of weeks or yeah, something, or maybe a month. Or, yeah. But uh, then again, they do have this uh, this new DLC schedule over the next year. What is it? December, March? I forget. Mm -hmm. They've got they've got these three smaller DLCs planned over the next year. Okay. Um, which they're kind of talking like they're going to be formatted differently than in the past. Like, there aren't going to be new zones. It's more going to be, like, new activities. Huh. Like, well... We can handle this. 
If you go back and watch the video they've put out about it, they show some footage of them, and they do have like new places to visit, but it's yeah. not new like patrol zones. Right. Okay. Yeah, like, that, that's fine. It's, it's it's you know if you think about it, like one of the coolest things about Destiny is it's got some good ass art. Yeah, totally. So the if you go back and look, the the first one is called the Black Armory, and it almost seems like it's going to be some like secret, like top secret armory full of weapons you can go to. Oh. Like it's just a it's just a giant room full of guns. I'm just totally dying here. Anyway, the stuff they've shown looks tentatively promising, is, is what I mean. Yeah. Hopefully that stuff will be worth coming back for. Cool. Uh, but what's in this thing for 40 bucks, I think, is, is pretty well worth it. It's some of the best Destiny stuff I've seen. Yeah, uh, I've had a good time with it as yep. well uh, so far. So I'm, I'm at least going to finish the storyline stuff in it, and then, I don't know, maybe, maybe we should run the raid. Yeah, maybe let some other people do it first. Oh, yeah. Get a feel for it. Yeah, I don't want to blind run the raid. I don't think I can do another blind raid. That's that's not. I, I don't have the patience for it. Leviathan but. took us like over 12 hours, I think. Well, yeah, but that we was fun. No, no, I'm, we, well, I mean the group I did it with that didn't know the mechanics at all. Yeah, I think like, that when that we a, ended up doing day. it, that ended up being. Oh, that's right. You guys didn't know either because yeah. I didn't really tell you anything. Yeah, and that took two days, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah. Or uh, let's say. It was unique. It was unlike most other things I do in video games, and that's cool. Sure. I guess. That's neat. Yeah, it's pretty good. Cool. All right. That's what uh, Destiny 2 Forsaken. Yeah. 40 bucks. Yeah. It's out now. Sure. It's good. Yeah. Seal of approval.